Welcome to Modern World Encyclopedia. In this video we are going to see about the leopards and their habitats. The leopard is a medium-sized wildcat that is found in a variety of different habitats across Sub-Saharan Africa and Southern Asia. Distinguished by their uniquely beautiful spotted coat, leopards are apex predators that ambush prey from a perch in the trees. This hunting method is unlike their big cat cousins who engage their prey in high-speed chases. Appearance of a leopard the leopard is an animal with a long, lithe body that is supported by powerful legs and a long tail that is used for balance in the trees. Leopards can vary greatly in their coloration and markings depending on their surrounding habitat, with those found on open grasslands having a light yellow, sun-bleached background coat whereas those that are found in forests tend to be darker to blend into the shade and with more markings for camouflage. The dark, ring-like patterns that cover the leopard's coat are called rosettes, but these turn into solid spots on the face and limbs, and rings on the tail, and provide the leopard with camouflage into the surrounding environment. Leopards are incredibly strong and muscular animals and are able to pull themselves up trees using their legs and retractable claws. Like a number of other large feline species, the leopard is able to draw its claws into folds of skin on their paws to ensure that they are not blunted whilst the animal is walking about. Their remarkable eyesight and hearing give them a great advantage while night hunting. Evolution of Leopards The first mammals are believed to have lived 208 million years ago, after the extinction of dinosaurs. The first carnivores came from animals known as myocoids about 60 million years ago. These tree dwellers were about the size of a domestic cat and had developed sharp crushing teeth. Myocoids are the oldest relative to the modern-day leopard. Carnivores split into two groups, Carniformia and Filiformia, around 40 million years ago. The Carniformia group was more bear-like and evolved into bears, dogs, weasels, raccoons, skunks, badgers, sea lions, walruses, and seals. Filiformia was more cat-like and evolved into cats, hyenas, and mongooses. Proilorus, the oldest cat, appeared in France 30 million years ago. This arboreal creature weighed around 25 pounds and had eight more teeth than modern cats. 20 million years ago, the direct ancestor of modern cats, Sudaliurines, was found in the fossil record. Around 1.6 million years ago, the saber-toothed tiger, Smilodon, was found in fossil records discovered in the La Brea Tar Pits in California. These big cats became extinct around 10,000 years ago. Subspecies of Leopard There are seven different subspecies of leopard that differ in their appearance and geographic location, with the African leopard being the most common and widespread. Number 1 African Leopards Panthera partis partis, can be seen in a variety of African habitats including deserts, forests, mountains, and coastlines. They are known for their speed and agility and are able to carry heavy prey up trees with ease. Number 2 Amur Leopard Panthera partis orientalis, is native to southeastern Russia and northern China. This critically endangered animal is considered one of the rarest cats on earth. Number 3 Anatolian Leopard Panthera partis tuliana, is native to Iran, Turkey, the Caucasus, Azerbaijan Georgia, Armenia, Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. The last official sighting of the Anatolian leopard occurred in 1974 after the animal was killed following an attack on a woman. Some scientists have declared it extinct while others believe there are still 10 to 15 Anatolian leopards in the wild. Number 4 Barbary Leopard Panthera partis panthera, sometimes called the North African leopard, lives in the Atlas Mountains of North Africa. They were thought to be extinct but a small population survives. Number 5 Sinai Leopard Panthera partis jarvisi, is a critically endangered big cat native to the Arabian Peninsula. It lives in mountainous uplands and steppes. Number 6 South Arabian Leopard Panthera partis nimir, is also native to the Arabian Peninsula and is also critically endangered. It is the smallest member of the leopard family and adapted to life in the desert. Number 7 Zanzibar Leopard Panthera partis partis, was a large African leopard who last lived on Unguja Island in Zanzibar, Tanzania. Declared extinct in the mid-1990s, the Zanzibar leopard was the island's largest carnivore and an apex predator. Prey of leopards Leopards primarily hunt medium-sized mammals such as deer and warthogs, that are often ambushed from the branches above or dense vegetation just meters away. The leopard, however, also eats a wide variety of small prey including birds, reptiles, and rodents even hunting dung beetles when larger animals are scarce. By eating much smaller, and a wider variety, of prey leopards are able to avoid intense competition for food from other large carnivores like tigers and hyenas, with which they share parts of their natural range. 
leopards are incredibly strong and are capable of taking prey much heavier than themselves such as antelopes, which are then remarkably hauled into the safety of the branches to either be eaten immediately or cached. Where are leopards found? Leopards have not only the widest range of all big cats but are actually one of the most adaptable and are found in a variety of different habitats. Commonly found throughout sub-Saharan Africa and southern Asia, there are also small and isolated populations of leopards inhabiting remote geographic locations in the Far East, Northern Africa, and Arabia. The leopard can be found inhabiting numerous different areas providing that there is a good source of cover and an ample supply of food including tropical rainforests, tree-lined savannas, barren deserts, and mountain highlands. One of the reasons why they are thought to be still surviving successfully throughout much of their natural range is that leopards have adapted to the growing presence of people and are known to both live and hunt in areas close to urban activity. However, in some parts of their natural range populations are threatened by the loss of their natural habitats to both deforestation and growing settlements. Hope this video has given you some useful information at least. If you do like this video, then give a like to this video. For more useful information, please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon.